everyone. It is November 1st here today. It is time to do the reading for the month of November. I hope everyone had a fun and safe and Hallow's Eve and Halloween itself. And today is All Saints Day. So we're still in this element of the spirits being close and being able to share quite a bit with us. So let's go ahead and see what the month of November has for us. Ashe. All right, we have thrown the bones, and we've got the dice with the 11th house showing up. And we also have from the Adinkra the Warhorn. And the Warhorn is a call to action, readiness, and volunteerism. While the 11th die, or the 11th house, talks about groups, friends, social courses, uh, uh, social causes, sorry, and uh, society. So... Just between these two, this month of November is going to be very much about how we are functioning groups and being alert and calls to actions and readiness and our volunteerness when it comes to groups, when it comes to our friendships, when it comes to social causes, and when it comes to society itself. So it's a very social-centered uh, focus, but of course, because I'm going to point out we also have the shell here, and we're seeing the inside of it, it's also going to be very much taxing on what are we doing emotionally. Now, for, this is also November, and for those here in the U.S., this month includes Thanksgiving. Now, depending again on your beliefs and your experiences, this is a holiday that has some very mixed experiences and roots. And... <clears throat> can very much influence our sense of our social and family connections as well as our greater connection to the world. And we want to be very much open and aware of what is going on that is going to be affecting the people around us, the, the groups that we are part of, the friendships that we have, the social causes we believe in, as well as society. And I think all of them are all going to be, from what I'm seeing here, all going to be kind of all over the place. Because if you notice, based off of our positioning here, our three bones, our main ones, are kind of spread out as opposed to clustered as they usually are. This one is the home bone. This one is social. This one is work. So the home one is going to be this one, is the one there at the edge of the uh, reading surface. So it's not one that we're going to be focusing on much, but there is something going on in the home that's very much at the edge and at the periphery of everything that's going to be happening. And I think it's going to develop more once we get to the winter solstice in December, or summer solstice, depending on where you are in the hemispheres. As for these two, again, they are sitting a little distance apart and not necessarily clustered with anything close by or crossing it. So there again, they're going to be moving their own little circles, their own little spaces. But they are affecting the flow of energy, and especially, as you can see, it comes here to the quartz piece. And as I've said many times, the quartz piece is about crystallized memory. It's about our understanding and knowledge of the past. Because we want to be able to access the past, but we don't want to live in the past because we need to be basically move, be in the present and move forward. Now, why I say that even more so is as many things have been going on and becoming a little more open, at least here in the US, the question is what has the impact been on us physically, economically, emotionally, and spiritually? Our sense of social connection and social causes and friendships and groups saw a great display at the beginning of, of the pandemic in 2020, but we have watched it erode. And the question is, are we keeping the idea of what the past has shown us about this sense of, yes, you can come together, but eventually you're going to things come apart. And the process of things coming apart is a part of the necessary aspect and process of decay. As it is 
Something that has been of a greater form decays, it breaks down into smaller components, and those smaller components can either be recycled or become the basic building blocks of something else. And so we've got to remember that what's happening in some cases is a natural process. And are we being alert and ready and able to assist that process where need be? Especially to create something new. And when I say something new, we're looking for new that has the, the potential to serve everyone. Not just a limited few, but everyone. In as many ways as possible. And so that's what's coming up here with the social one, which is, again, sticking with this very main theme that social and our connection and our being alert is in all of these things. So when we come to the work bone, as you can see, we've got crossed um, rib bones. So there's definitely a great amount of inspiration that is very focused here. And so also some of the rib, spinal and tail bones. So about balance and thought. So this, need, this next month needs to be a combination of what are we doing when we're working about our sense of inspiration and our sense of thought. New ideas are going to come up, new principles, and new things need to be formed. Now we do have the broken rib bone here with one that looks like the dagger. It's in this space, and there's always going to be an element of strife. But you notice that there is little around it and in connection with it. So this is the sense of, much like the Warhorn says, to be aware and being called to action. It is about knowing when there is a false call to action, as opposed to a very planned and focused call to action as well as somebody who is just sitting around swinging and trying to make sure you're looking at them. Because the good thing, the thing well, I shouldn't say the good thing, but the thing about a distraction is that it's supposed to keep you looking in the direction of it. So if you see a distraction going on, turn and look the opposite direction. And that's part of that being readiness that's going on. Now, as I said earlier, the shell is turned inward, so it's going to be about the internal aspects. And the fact that we've got here the top of the spinal column with uh, several more of the tailbones, especially here and around it, shows that we're going to be looking at finding and recentering our balance as we go forward. It is better that you work on trying to be as grounded as possible for the entire month of November as much as you can as these dynamics and these shifts and these events happen. Because the more grounded you are, the more things can flow around you when need be, and you can flow with them as need be. And it's knowing the difference, is this a moment where I need to be standing still, or is this the no moment where I need to be flowing? That is the greatest power. That is the power moment. That is the moment of choice. So you want to basically know where that is internally so that you're moving with it, not against it. So over here, we've got a couple more of our floating bones. And so we've got a lot of the tail bones, a lot of balance. A lot of things that are going to be moving left and right, and we're going to need to be able to counterbalance ourselves. And that's what the tail does. It provides an extra swing of motion and balance. But we're also find inspiration with it too. So I can't say that there's a particular strong image that's coming to mind with all of this, other than the fact that there is a form of motion here. You've got the pieces coming down, you've got everything moving around. That reminds me of um, a gyre or whirlpool. Oh, and yes, of course, the copper piece, too, which you see here at the middle of it, and that is spirit is going through here. And spirit, since today is November 1st, is very much flowing with energy and flowing with the aspect of what can it communicate to us. And again, that's showing how much we are connected beyond what we think of in the physical world and the world that we're thought of that we're only supposed to focus on what's in front of us as opposed to what is also around us and what are we interconnected with 
uh, conversation I was having with a fellow therapist was that no matter what happens, every single issue that we have in this world begins and can end with people. So how alert are you ready to be able to call to the action of doing, building community that affects everyone? How can you be ready to aid those in the cause of building our tomorrow? And that is a tomorrow for everyone, not a specific few. How are you ready to volunteer your time, your energy, your wisdom, perhaps your skills for our tomorrow? But there is a change that is continuing in motion here. And it is about being ready and dealing with our groups, our friends, our social colleges, social causes, and our society. So with that, I wish you all a good November. And I'll see you in December as we come to the end of 2021. Bye-bye. And I'll